Well, as always, um, it's always a huge honour to be able to be on the pitch with, with the boys and representing Gibraltar. Um, it was quite a, it's been quite a long time since I've been able to step on the pitch due to injury. But I'm just really grateful and thankful that um, I was back representing my, my country and representing all those that support us and doing what, what I love best. I think we can take a lot of positives from it. I don't think the the result is a true reflection of the team's performance. I think defensively we we had a lot of positive positive aspects. Um, I think maybe certain periods of the game where perhaps we lost a bit of concentration, and that at this level, uh, loss of concentration, you you pay the price with with conceding a goal. I think on the ball as well, the team were really brave. We we built up some really good passages of play and I think we should be proud of that and, and want to build, build upon it, which is what um, the team will be looking to do. So yeah, I think we can take a lot of positives from it, but as we always do, there's things to improve on and thankfully there are things to improve on and, and that's what we will be working on. Well, Netherlands are one of the biggest uh, nations there are. A very, very strong, strong team with with big players. I just think we we need to focus on 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 our job. Do both defensively, um, keep focused, keep our concentration, keep switched on, keep organised, and do the things that we've been preparing in the lead up to to this game. And then know that we can we can play and we can put up a fight against these big nations and just uh, believe in ourselves because this group of players is, is a, a truly special, uh, special team that we have. Yeah, I think this, this topic is, is really, really important. Um, obviously, honestly, it was one of the, the first big injuries that I, I had uh, experienced and at first it was, it was really, really challenging for me, especially, especially mentally. So for, for the first couple of weeks, it was, it was quite hard, but um, I really, really developed this new positive uh, mindset. And after speaking to, to my family members, my friends, my teammates, um, I just sort of saw it from a different perspective and knew that, look, this is part of the game and the important thing was how I was going to react to it and what I was going to do and, and that helped me massively. Having the support from my family and friends was, uh, was really, really good and I was grateful for that and it just helped me build a stronger mindset for any challenges that I may come up against in the, in the future. I think it's really, really important um, within today's society. I think maybe people um, are afraid um, to to speak out. Um, thankfully, we we all have uh, family, loved ones, or, or close ones, or even if we may not be in contact regularly with with any of our loved ones, there's always someone to talk to. There's always there people to help, and and that's exactly what we should do. Um, we should try and avoid at all costs to to keep it within ourselves because then it just builds up and, and just eats us down and has a really negative um, impact on, on our lives. So we're here to help each other at the end of the day. That's what we, we should know and, and aim to do.